In this video, we're going to look at a baseband signal model and show that the same model can actually hold for MIMO and for CDMA. And we're going to assume in this video that you understand the basic uh, scalar uh, versions of the channel inversion filter and the matched filter. Uh, and if you want more information on this, uh, you can check out the link below where there's a link to the video on this topic. Everything now is going to be a vector. So, okay, Y equals H or a matrix. Y equals HX plus N. So in this equation here, we've got X is now a vector. H is a matrix, Y is a vector. I'm just going to, underneath it, draw a, a sort of a, a, an example with dots just to indicate this. Let's consider the case where there's two elements in this vector. Then H is going to have four elements, N is going to have two elements, and Y is going to have two elements. So this is what we're going to be considering now. So let's, uh, why are we considering this? Okay, so let's think of two particular uh, examples. One is a CDMA example. So for example, this could be the uplink in a CDMA system. This is one example. Okay, so I'm going to write uplink uh, CDMA. And in this case, each of these two elements of X are, are the symbols being sent, these symbols are the symbols being sent from two different users. And in this case, this matrix H is the spreading matrix for the CDMA. And what I mean by that is it's the spreading code for each of the users. So for example, one example would be of H in this case here is where we have, for example, H equals the first spreading sequence is, a, is the vector in the first column. So let's say one, so just to remember in CDMA, you send a symbol in and you multiply by a spreading code which has a higher chip rate, okay? And, and the chips in the sequence are orthogonal to the chips for the other users, or you'd like them to be orthogonal. Uh, you try to choose them to be orthogonal. You can't always choose them to be orthogonal. Uh, sometimes they're not, and that's what we'll see uh, like just in a few minutes. But let's consider the first one is one, one. The second sequence for the second user is one time one and minus one. So you're putting a symbol in for each of the users here, and the first symbol is, of course, being multiplied by the first column, which in this case is 1, 1. So the first user has a spreading sequence 1, 1 in this example. And the second user has a spreading sequence 1, minus 1. And you can see that these two are orthogonal. Uh, this would, this is, I'm going to call this H1 and this H2 because this is the H matrix. Okay, so the, the first column here is H1, the second column H2. That's the notation I'm going to use. So H1 is now a vector, little, little letters for vectors. Um, and then uh, these are orthogonal, and you can see if they're orthogonal in this example uh, because H1 uh, complex conjugate times H2 uh, equals uh, zero. Okay, so why is that? Um, I'll, I'll just draw that uh, underneath here slightly um, because this would be H1 complex conjugate is the, is the transpose in this case because they're real numbers. So it's one, one times one minus one and that equals one times one plus one times minus one equals zero. Okay, so this, I just give this little example here to put into your minds what we're talking about when we have this matrix equation now. In, in the uplink and CDMA case, it could be two different users in the uplink with, two, with their own spreading codes. If they're orthogonal, then you have this property here, but they're not always going to be orthogonal. The other example uh, that this signal uh, system model has is for um, a, a system where, I'll just draw it in here, is a system where you have MIMO, so that's this case, but the other case is MIMO, um, where you've got multiple inputs, multiple outputs, and you've got two uh, um, data sequences that are being spatially multiplexed. So if this is the transmitter here, then the signal from this antenna is going to be received by that antenna and that antenna, and this is H1. And then the signal from this antenna is, of course, also going to be received by those two antennas, and that's H2. And of course, they're received at the same time. So this is your vector Y. Your vector Y is that element plus that uh, uh, that element in the top in the first um, value in the, in Y, and this in the second. And it's going to be receiving components from each of these two spatially multiplex streams, and that's the matrix H. Okay, so this is this is for a MIMO example. Okay, in this case, they're rarely orthogonal. Okay, or basically almost never orthogonal. Uh, maybe in massive MIMO with massive numbers of antenna elements, you might get some orthogonality. 
So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps others to find the video. Um, subscribe to the channel for more videos and check out the information below the video for links to other videos and a web page where there's a full categorized list of videos on the channel.